Now, I emphasize this point because, Mr. President, many of us who are patriotic and who are passionate about the fight against corruption not only commend you, but wish to treat you, we, as Oliver Twist. You know, the more you do, the more we want to be done. Because that's the only way we can get this country out of this cancer of corruption. And that's why I'm pointing out to this aspect of not embezzlement and higher level corruption, but things that are becoming routinized in our public services, uh, both at the state and the federal levels. Indeed, regrettably, many of the chief executives that I have spoken with, and I know only a few, have terrible stories to tell, particularly about the issue of bribe giving and bribe taking when members of the National Assembly pursue so-called committee work and oversight responsibilities. This is well known. Everybody knows it. It's being said. But nothing seems to be done about it. And I wonder what is happening to the intelligence and investigative uh, 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 responsibilities of our, of our security and policing agencies. Some chairmen of committees in the National Assembly have become notorious on this issue of recklessly with impunity demanding for bribes. I'm back in the university system. I have heard stories from many vice chancellors about the horrors that they go through on questions of budget and so-called oversight. I am not saying that chiefs executives are saints, you know, but all we are saying is that we must cast the such light so that Nigerians and particularly public office holders should have basic common decency and integrity in the ways in which they discharge their responsibilities. Because that's the only way we can make progress in this country.